right hi students today we are going to learn very interesting and most requested topic from most of the students so that means we are going to discuss about the difference between dead weight loss and social welfare loss dead weight loss versus social welfare loss right so most of students are thinking that most of students are thinking that these two concepts are similar so by referring this video you can be able to get a better understanding about these two concepts first of all we are going to learn about the definitions of the dead weight loss and social welfare loss dead weight loss means lamai what we are saying decrease in the consumer surplus and producer surplus decrease in the consumer surplus and producer surplus due to producing an inefficient quantity by the economy right decrease in the consumer surplus and producer surplus due to produce an inefficient inefficient quantity by the society right inefficient quantity means what at the inefficient quantity lamai what is the thing you have to understand marginal cost not equals to marginal benefits right i will explain this through a diagram then it will be very easy and next one what is mean by social welfare loss what is mean by social welfare loss social welfare loss means lamai in addition to the dead weight loss that means in addition to decrease in consumer surplus and producer surplus in addition to decrease in consumer surplus and producer surplus government is intervening to the market now so therefore this is the loss this is the loss in addition to the decrease in consumer surplus and producer surplus and this is the loss happen by increasing the public expenditure as well public expenditure as well right so this is identified as the social welfare loss haru ga e kiyanne dead weight loss ekak kiyanne consumer surplus ekai producer surplus ekai decrease ekak due to producing an inefficient quantity by the economy so that means lamai in order to produce the efficient quantity api dannawa ne api igena gannawa under the ppc api igena gannawa topic ekak allocative efficiency kiyala for that one we are saying that to produce the efficient quantity required by the society mc need to be equals to the nb habai when you are producing an inefficient quantity when you are producing an inefficient quantity what is the thing you have to understand mc not equals to mb mc not equals to mb right that is the thing you have to understand right and lamai under the social welfare laws consumer surplus and producer surplus is decreasing that loss is coming in addition to that by increasing the public expenditure and public inefficiency another loss can be created so that is the social welfare loss right and the most important thing you can note down anything you want ah next one is lamai these two concepts most of the students are thinking that these two concepts are similar but these two concepts are getting different in two situations the situation number 1 is what when purchasing the excess supply by the government when purchasing the excess supply by the government the second situation is what the second situation is what when producing when producing <coughs> over quantity at minimum price when producing over quantity at minimum price 
under these two situations these two concepts are getting different right now by using a particular example i will explain all these things right <coughs> Next one, we are going to explain this one through a graph. Now I am going to take an example, a minimum price imposing situation and government is going to purchase the excess supply. So I am taking two axes, this is Q, this is P, this is my demand curve, this is my supply curve. So this is the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Now government is going to impose a price flow at the above of the equilibrium price P1. So this is the price flow. This is the price flow. At this price flow, customers are going to purchase this quantity. Customers are going to purchase this quantity. And Suppliers are going to supply this quantity. Suppliers are going to supply this quantity. Right? Suppliers are going to supply this quantity. Right? Now I am putting some letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Right? Now, Api Hedam Balamuda. Dead weight loss is not the same. definition is the same. Right? Dead weight loss is not definition. So, dead weight loss is creating when the economy is going to produce the inefficient, what? The inefficient quantity. At the inefficient quantity, MC is not equal to MB. Right? Now, this is an excess supply purchasing situation. Excess supply purchasing situation means what? You can note that when government imposes a price flow, quantity supply is higher than the quantity demand. Quantity supply is higher than the quantity demand, right? So, therefore, this excess supply, this excess supply is going to purchase by the government at this price. At this price, right? Now, what is the optimum quantity required by this society? Now, optimum quantity is that you know that this demand curve is the MB curve. This supply curve is the MC curve. Make MB curve, make MC curve. And now, MB, MC equals when name on a point together. At this point, then this is the optimum quantity. So, I am saying OQ, optimum quantity. But, now, now, Suppliers, producers are producing Q1 quantity at the minimum price. Mukada, then supplier to buy vendor there na excess supply ka kawo government will purchase, right? So supplier buy na tuwa Q1 hada na. Ena this is the quantity now producing. Ne? This is the quantity now producing by the producers. So Q1 is producing. Q is the optimum one. Now you can see. We are not producing the efficient quantity. Efficient quantity is Q. We are producing Q1. Now, make Q1 the data. Then you are meeting your MB curve. So this is your MB. The Tavatika Then you are meeting the MC. Now you can see that here MB, here MC. MB and MC are not equal. Methanai, methanai not equals. Na methanai na mehem, 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 mehem. Eh na dead weight loss until this one you have to come up and until the efficient output level you have to come. In iri gahavi na. Then what is the dead weight loss? This I area. That is your dead weight loss. Hope you understood well. Hope you understood well. Now we are going to discuss about the. Social welfare laws. Now we are going to understand the social welfare laws. Social welfare laws. Now, I am going to take changing consumer surplus. Right. 
before purchasing the excess supply before purchasing the excess supply your consumer surplus was a b and d but but after purchasing the excess supply consumer is willing to pay this much maximum but consumer now actually pays this much but consumer purchasing only q0 in this triangle a so what is the difference from b and d amounts your consumer surplus decreased from b and d amounts your consumer surplus decreased next one changing produce a surplus before 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 you were produce a surplus is c and e now after 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 what happened this is the minimum price expected to <coughs> receive by the supplier but now under the minimum price control producer receives this much and producer supplying q1 quantity then b c right b c d e j b c d e j this triangle la b c d e j methanai 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 b c d e j now you can take the difference now you can clearly see that huh? not like the consumer surplus not like the consumer surplus producer surplus has been increased by b d and j amounts by b d and j amounts consumer surplus sorry producer surplus has been what happened increased producer surplus increased b d j now you have to match this i told you at the definition here you have to take the government expenditure you have to take the government expenditure to this change and to this change you have to match the government expenditure right let's see now uh, let's see the government expenditure government is going to purchase this excess supply under this price then this area represents the government expenditure right d e j g h i always government expenditure you have to show by putting minus okay d e j i g h i g h right this is the government expenditure now i am going to erase this area la mai because i want to keep this in here right now you can clearly see that this is the change in the consumer surplus minus b and d this is the change in the producer surplus so i am taking separately change in consumer surplus this is minus huh? minus b and d change in producer surplus that is plus b d j bdj so government expenditure also need to be matched minus uh, always government expenditure minus because government is spending money d e j i g h like this now take the social welfare laws nicely then gamu dapi minus b and plus b you can cut minus d and plus d you can cut minus minus j and plus j you can cut now what are the areas remaining b d all these are cut down we by ourselves now this is the social welfare laws d e i g and h this is our social welfare laws now our dead weight loss is completely different from the social welfare laws as our example so 
by referring this video you can clearly note that there is a situation there are two situations where dead weight loss and social welfare loss concepts are different right so i think as per my memory at the 2021 a level paper also they are giving a special point regarding these two concepts so therefore you have to understand these concepts clearly and by referring this video this will be really helpful to yourself so thank you then let's meet from another video tutorial on upcoming week thank you so much